So we went through the list twice. The a person that has been housed in here who is really the ringleader of all these people, a real con man who's, who uh, spends all his time on the phone talking to advocacy groups, uh, pushing this uh, false narratives out there on a daily basis. No soap, no this, no that. And the advocacy groups and the press people that are involved with them continue to spew misinformation out there suggesting that the conditions here are bad. So, at any rate, that individual, when his name was called for a second time, was down at the other end on the telephone. I approached him and said, your, your name's been called, you need to hang up the phone, you need to go down, down below. He pulled the phone to his shoulder. I said, you need to hang up the phone, your name's been called, you gotta go down. He refused a second order. At that point, I went to grab the phone, and of course, as con men always do, and he is a con man well known in his history, said, stop hitting me, You're, you don't touch me. Obviously for the advantage of the other person on the phone, as though he were being somehow assaulted or injured. As he was doing that, and once he yelled that, the other detainees in the unit came running in force toward me and the officer standing next to me. One of the individuals picked up a chair and hit me with the chair, threw it and hit me with the chair. At that point, we backed our, our team out of the unit and immediately these detainees, the same people that these courts, these judges and these activist attorneys want to put back in your neighborhood, began trashing the entire unit. And we're going to take you inside and let you see exactly what they did to the taxpayers and how they destroyed the taxpayers' uh, facility here. And they were, they were obviously poised, and we had heard that they were talking with people over the last couple of days. And what they did to this unit, you're going to be shocked. And as we watched them, and we have it all on film, they took all the tables, dragged them down to the end, blockaded the door, pulled the dryers out of the, the washer dryer room, jammed them up against the door, turned on the hot water for the coffee and let it just run, threw coffee up on the, on the, uh, on the uh, camera. They, uh, they destroyed the officer's workstation. They destroyed the computer in there. They ripped the television off the wall, took a pole out of the bathroom, the handicap pole went into the prayer room and started destroying the wall. And you'll see it when you go in. They essentially made the unit uninhabitable.